Hi everyone, and welcome to this video on how to install VNC server on Windows. In this tutorial, I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of installing VNC server on your Windows machine. Whether you're using Windows 10, Windows 11, or even Windows Server, this installation method will work seamlessly across all Windows operating systems. There are several VNC server solutions available for Windows. We will be using Tight VNC Server, which is a free option for Microsoft Windows. So, without further ado, let's get started with the installation of VNC Server. In my lab environment, I have two computers, Desktop 1 and Desktop 2. I will configure VNC Server on Desktop 1 and access it from Desktop 2 using a VNC viewer. To get started, open a web browser and navigate to the website typevncom download.php. From there, locate and download the 64-bit Windows installer. Once the download is finished, you can proceed by running the setup file to begin the installation of the VNC server. When prompted to choose a setup type, select the typical option. During the installation process, you will be prompted to set up a remote access password. This password will be used to connect to the computer remotely. The VNC server listens on port 5900. You don't need to manually configure the Windows firewall. The installer will automatically configure the firewall to allow VNC service. When the VNC server is running, you will see the VNC icon in the system tray. To stop the VNC server, right-click the tray icon and choose Shut Down Tight VNC Server. To start the VNC server, go to the Start menu and click Start Tight VNC Service. You can configure the VNC service using the Tight Vink service interface. To open the Tight Vink service interface, right click the tray icon and choose Configuration. Now that the VNC server is running on Desktop 1, let's try connecting to it from Desktop 2. On Desktop 2, I am using the real VNC viewer. However, you can use any VNC viewer software that supports Windows, including Tight VNC viewer. On the VNC viewer, start a new connection and enter the IP address of the remote computer to establish the connection. Congratulations! You have successfully learned how to install and configure VNC server on Windows. Before we wrap up, if you're interested in exploring another remote desktop solution, make sure to check out our video on Chrome Remote Desktop. It's another powerful tool that allows you to access your computer remotely using the Chrome browser. You can find the link to that video in the description below. 